always together going to one house and another house because they all live there. They, they went to a similar school and all that. He said, well, look, this, this uh, summer, don't count on me because I, have, I will be very busy. I have things to go. So nobody feels offended. After that, we will continue like that. And he, uh, because the parents have a, a, a small swimming pool in the back of the house, apparently he spent the whole summer there, either climbing in a tree and spending hours and hours sitting on his tree, or otherwise in a float, floating in the water, or what he was observing, what he was practicing, what he was experiencing. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> but but was an unusual child anyway, no? And very friendly, very funny. Everybody loved him. But yeah. sometimes yeah. he had to do some things, and that's it. No? And he did that's... it around his normal social life. He grew up like any other child. No? Mm. I heard. That's absolutely amazing to do it while everything else is going on. Is yeah. And that is a sort of model that he prepared for us. Yeah. Because in his doctrine, we don't have like bhikkhus to, 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 to shave yeah. our head and, and go to stay yeah. in an ashram and sitting there and do some practices and, and, and to wear no a, an orange tunic and do some things. Yeah. Because, and then they travel and they, they preach when they travel, the ones who were yeah. better prepared, especially in the yeah. rainy seasons. When yeah. the monsoon come, they came, they, they had to go again to the, to the ashrams and right. they did qualification there. They were right. trained, explained new things, more advanced, more practices, and then travel and preach. <laughs> right. Preach the Dharma, the doctrine. And, and lots of founders in that region of India also operated in a similar way. Yes. And in that way, it, it spread really the messages. Buddhism, for example, spread all over yeah. the place. Yeah, through the system of the monks and the... Yes, yeah, and, but the and monks the, could not be part of society and relate no. with society like any other no. individual. Monastery, they had to be in the monastery, in, yes. no question. Yeah. But I was, I was is, is following the line of the fourth way, isn't it, Anton? We are taking this with our daily life. Yes. Taking this in with our daily life. Exactly. Both the things balanced simultaneously. And practicing then, and he developed techniques that we could practice in our day-to-day -day life. For example, the work with the force. The For example, the, force. the works with attention. For example, the works with uh, treating others as you want to be treated. Uh, the, the, the works with reconciliation. All the different techniques could do good if you meet together with your friends, let's say in, in a park, and then right. they train, they study, they review things and all that, and they go out to the normal lives with increased power, and then always to form new groups, to preach, to communicate, to develop things further, further. So it's, it makes it very powerful and very um, good for the present world that has become so similar everywhere. Because imagine if we had a, an orange tunic and we went today to another country, and then it creates immediately a shock, a cultural shock. But if you go with a shirt, you could be there in Mumbai, yeah. or you could be here in London, yeah. or you could be here in Central America, in Africa, anywhere. I mean, you have one more. And your the dialogue then becomes person to person, communication from heart to heart, or mind to mind. So it makes it very powerful. Very powerful. True. Very true. I think this, this perspective of our work needs to be very well understood in the sense that we are not an organization which is trying to grow in numbers, although numbers are important. But, and we have seen the structural era, but probably that was a kind of training that Silo wanted uh, us to have and to grow <coughs> where uh, some of us bossed up things and we didn't do it properly. But uh, that was a particular kind of training like it had earlier. But I think now that all those things are over and some of us who have participated in more than one organism uh, can understand the kind of variety of approach that you need to have. And that gives a totally different perspective to our work. So wherever we are in whichever organism or message, if we get that perspective in the head and go forward, 
it's a different way altogether of doing things. Yeah, yeah. Because the more uh, you can present in different things, you approach, and uh, but uh, that strengthens the center, as we learn in morphology. And uh, if you frame the center, it in somehow is protected, and it can help you to do things in certain type of things. But you, when you remove the limits and you leave it in itself, it becomes that tacit center becomes much more intense. So is 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 uh, this of how we play with different forms of expression is a very important concept. What will happen in forty years time? Now we are celebrating what we did 40 years and, and, and the first visit to Sri Lanka and Bombay and all that. Well, but then in another 40 years, some of us will not be around. That is no doubt about. It. But then with the people who are around, probably you will require new organisms, different type of organisms that will have to be defined by the school in its different points of operation because they will be matters that will be more urgent or more specific to those societies of the time. And, uh, and, and so you cannot keep reading in the old book that was written in 1981, because that book will not give you this type of answer, <laughs> the practical answers for action in the world. They will have to be defined according to the challenges by those members of the school that will sit together, they will analyze the situation, they will ask the questions within the hearts and minds, they will listen carefully to the answers, they will agree what is the situation, and probably they will set in motion these new varied forms. And uh, so we can always be actual, up to date. But that was part of the formation that Silo did to us. It's interesting then to understand the process with all these changes and backwards and forwards and this way and the other way and from a political party to a spiritual message to an inner religion to a center of cultures to an international. <laughs> Only the strongest could survive that type of change. <laughs> but very formative, very good for us. I think. Very true, very true. Yeah, Antonio. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, in in its uh, his uh, own wings on Indian his uh, biography, you know. Uh, actually, uh, it, it never says how uh, Silo brought in a in a separate man, like a separate child. It doesn't men mention anything anywhere, oh. even in the his uh, biography book. Only uh, it, this, this book is simply. Uh, says uh, normal growth, normal development like that. Yeah. But uh, uh, how can you, can you light about that uh, something? <laughs> regarding well, those are anecdotes because whatever Silo has been sort of a uh, uh, careful of not uh, creating what we can call noise. That means uh, uh, mini stories that then get multiply and deformed by the people when the oral communication and then they invent all types of myths and fantasies and, and, and things like that. For example, in Christianity, they have some gospels that were written by people who lived at the time of the Christ. Christ, apparently, he had a very sort of rebellious childhood. And he was challenging everything around his place in Galilea, where he was born. Even he, apparently playing, he pushed another child in a, in a, in a wall of rocks or something, and the other child fell and, and, and broke his head, and I think he died. So he, he, they were accused of having pushed a child to his death. I don't know whether it is true or it's not true, but those apocryphal gospels tell all these stories that nobody else tells. So when the church started to, to gather momentum and to get the basic organization, they organized meetings of the priests, of the religious, or bishops, or whatever they had at the time, first century, second century, third century of the Christian era. And they agreed what would be the official story. Council and of uh, Nicaea. Eh? Yeah. Council of Nicaea. Nicaea was probably one of them, but they had quite a few. And then there okay. they changed the New Testament and they modified things and they rewrote some of the ancient books. And so they had a version that was sort of the official version of the time. 
because if the other apocryphals, but you can still research the apocryphal gospels and you find all types of things there. Who was Mary of Magdala that was a sort of, 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 of companion that was part of the, of the, of the order. It's, it's a woman that had a, achieved the same uh, training as, as, as the other guys and he was playing yes. important roles at the time. Yes. And, uh, and uh, anyway, the, 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 the modern version of the gospel says that he was a repented uh, prostitute that had joined as a follower of Christ. <laughs> sure. Sure. So they and invented then, stories uh, yeah, that were not true. the real stories. There's a version that says that she's the, she's the wife of Christ carried, carried his bloodline. So Possibly. that's, yeah, we're getting into controversial. Yeah. But yeah. but the interesting thing is that uh, Silo has not left. Well, today because of the levels of information we have, everything is known about everything else. People go scratching the surface and trying to get information. And about Silo, well, there is the same information that exists everywhere. You can ask Tito the Casas that grew up in the same village, but he was like eight or ten years younger than than uh, the initial groups with Silo. But he knows all the gossips from Chakras de Cori and some of these stories and all that. But there is nothing that you can rescue or that you have any foundation to, to, to prove about that. To tell you, like I am saying now, that I have heard that when he was about 12, one summer, he told some of his friends that he wouldn't be available and he spent like the whole summer at home. <laughs> what is in that? No? Then, uh, yes, he was. He, he, he trained in, in, uh, in, in gymnastics, for example. He was very good. He was a Latin American uh, champion in, those, uh, in, in the rings and those people who, who do all that types of operations. He had an incredible muscular physical uh, structure. He developed his motricity beyond the standards that we would have achieved in, the, <laughs> in our trainings or bases or things like that. So, yes, there are things that uh, frame him as a very normal kid. But he was not. He was not in the good sense because he had already, he had started to write some stories, some materials, those materials that circulated in the initial groups in the grassroots from 1962 in those retreats. I mean, like six or seven years before Punta de Vacas, when they decide to launch his public life and to have a public address. And there it is where the military government sent him to the mountain. So he went to Punta de Vacas and he spoke there. They said to him, if you want to speak to the public, well, go to and speak to the stones. So he went 3000 meters above sea level in the border with Chile. The, the, the idea of the military government is that nobody would listen to him yet like two or three hundred people came there because he's in the border near the border with Chile and that height and in the month of May that already is the beginning of winter then uh, then it's, it's difficult that not too many people would arrive no? some buses were coming from Mendoza <clears throat> and from Chile also and I came in one of these buses from Santiago because the, the, the group started to develop in Chile and in the grassroots, informal groups. I mean, I was, a, I was in, a, in my last year of university and then a friend of mine, because I was very interested in Krishnamurti and in, in Jung regarding the psychology of the dreams and allegories and, and, and reading some, some uh, spiritual stuff, mainly from Indian origin. And then a friend of mine said, look, We'll introduce you to somebody that is saying things very much along the lines of what you are interested in. And they, they introduced me, Bruno. Bruno had been in, in, in those trainings in the north of Argentina with Silo. And when they completed those trainings, they had to go and develop a mission. And, and after that, they would have a, a test, an examination, to see if the things that they have learned in the training they were capable of converting it in, in reality in the world by forming other people to the similar standard. And so they all had to go to the different countries and form groups. 
and to develop their own, um, let's say, followers, people who, who did the same practices, techniques, and things like that. And, and then I joined one of those groups because I found it so interesting. And there they stay, and, and I have been uh, to May 69, nearly a year participating there. And I have connected lots of other people. Everybody was connecting other people and bringing to the groups. And then we started to grow. And about 60 or 70 of us came for the 4th of May from Chile. Other people, obviously, they couldn't come and etc. etc. And I mobilized my parents and my younger brother and, uh, and an, an uncle of mine who had a terminal disease. And uh, we were saying that miracles could take place in the, in the mountains. And I say, well, I mean, if you have no hope because you are going to die in a few months, you love the mountain because he was also a mountaineer, a famous doctor in Chile. And so he went there. And Silo, of course, later on, he visited him in the hospital in Mendoza, in the city nearby Punta de Vacas. And, and then later on, he visited in Chile, when Silo went to, to Chile, one or two opportunities, he, he paid him a visit. And, and he must have told him something very convincing, because my uncle later on, he, he was thinking of, of, of killing himself, because it's a disease that disables you completely. In the end, you become a burden to everybody that has to look after you. And he was very active intellectually. He had some of his junior students he had to form words with a, with a little screen like that and, and form words. And he was dictating some of the, of the most advanced research that he had developed. So it was a very intense activity, but he wouldn't be able to continue much, much further from that point. But uh, with Silo, I, I guess that probably Silo told him that death did not exist. I mean, he, he told him something practical for that there was nothing to fear because he was not a religious person in the traditional sense. He was not a follower of Christianity or, or anything like that. He was more a, a scientist. But after that, he, he looked so calm and so clear about what would happen. And he wrote some, with the help of his assistant, some beautiful letters to his wife, like a, a full reconciliation of the whole chapter of the life together to the children, to it was a man in, in, in full harmony with himself and he led the disease to carry on until the end. So obviously uh, I took the risk of pushing the, the nucleus of my family to the mountain. And I knew that some of them would blame me for life. But on the other hand, Silo's connection with this man that was particularly vulnerable at the time was such that it changed the course of his disease and the vision of the future. And I was a witness of that. So I felt quite comfortable with that, uh, having been the pushy one in the whole project. <laughs> clap, clap to that. Yeah. Absolutely clap, clap to that. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and Silo so understanding and so warm and so, so loving in that sense, because he could have then continued his activities and leaving all these people, but people who were ill, and he came to that act, he paid at the moment or later and in other moments, a, a particular attention. Also, I remember a, a woman that was, she couldn't walk by herself, probably she had to be helped there because she, we, she was uh, sitting like in a, in, a, in a mat in the mountain as so a bit reclined. And I think she was brought from Cordoba, somewhere in the, in the north of Argentina also a relative of some of our friends or whatever. And I didn't follow up that case, but there were two or three ill people there that, uh, that uh, benefit from the explanations and the preach of Silo in her first uh, public address. Talking of the origins. Huh? <laughs> Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Nice, very nice. Yeah, actually, this uh, uh, actually uh, Antonium, this type of uh, this kind of experience, we uh, we couldn't see anywhere in uh, writings or anything. So that is why I ask you, how he brought and uh, any anything extraordinary or or inbuilt inbuilt or uh, he tried to build uh, that type of uh, knowledge. I want to know 
from you because of because yeah, he is a great teacher he is a, a teacher of our ipo so like a buddha or some other because we only read uh, the uh, book or something they uh, brought by somebody but yeah. here uh, <laughs> here you and all because we are the more communicative world we live so uh, we have enough proof for that so that is why i ask you yeah yeah well i go, who could be probably a good uh, person to have a chat we can try to invite him uh, maybe in one of these meetings is is tito tito you remember he was around also in uh, in in mumbai and in 81 because he grew up there so he knows quite a few anecdotes and stories and things that can be interesting but uh, but they are all informal they are they are the apocryphal not public not official <laughs> There are rumors. And when Tito, Tito goes and all the other friends of the neighbor who go, well, I mean, that all that disappears. Huh? Disappears. Mm. Actually, we, uh, we, had a, we had a book of uh, horn wings of Indian here. And we, our Kerala people are uh, continuously read uh, till uh, not uh, it's a 60% we cover that book by, mm. Trudy, by Trudy Lee. But uh, in this, uh, uh, regarding this type of uh, activity, she never mentioned in, in early childhood or uh, later. No, no. That she, is has the mentioned, she has mentioned what she knows or what she heard. That's her yes, impression. Yes. It's her impression. Yes, yes. It's nothing official yes, about yeah, it. Her impression. Yeah, many times also she called me I, because she's in California and she was writing this biography. With big, but I didn't know what he was writing from what perspective she was writing of course i didn't want to make noise or to tell stories or things that i don't know what she was going to do with it you know? i i don't want to be a generator because when people write books like that is because they want to be recognized they want fame they want prestige and things like that and and uh, you don't facilitate anybody to have prestige at at the expenses of some process that is extremely serious and that links to the biography of the founder of Silo. No? Yeah. But there are other things that are just anecdotes and then it can be very inspiring for us, <coughs> people following and, and people trying to, to understand, um, to, to gain greater inspiration even from Silo as a person. That's very true. The things that he he was mentioning when organizing the events in Mumbai, there are lots of anecdotes that we don't know them, and that I have, for example, heard about these days. For example, that he went to the to the beach of Chaupati a few hours before the, the act with with Christina. No, somebody was mentioning that story. And that he was trying to to anticipate what would happen with the storm if the storm would diffuse or if it intensify, because it would have made a, a huge impact on the on the or difference in people if it was pour, even... pouring water like crazy in 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 Mumbai, and uh, and the wind was really blowing everything. I mean, people who were prepared to go, they would have said, "Look, stay, let's stay at home because we will get absolutely." soaked and we will not be able to do or to take advantage of this interesting event so he even was playing with different options if only 500 people come what we are going to do if such as such had happened and so he walked on the beach and then he got his own assessment of the situation and at one point apparently he, he reassured christina that everything would be all right Ajit, Ajit knows about that. Ajit probably knows all that. Maybe he told Ajit the story. Knows about it, yeah. <laughs> I think he went. He went the previous evening, isn't it, Ajit? Yeah. Yeah. Antonio, and Antonio, at many times, uh, uh, Sido uh, carry a uh, healing stick with him. Is it true? A what? <laughs> healing Sorry? stick. He saw the caduceus. Ah, his father. Yeah, is... the, yeah. He had when he spoke in Punta de Vacas. He had a metal bar that is a caduce, caduceus. Yeah. So what did he do with that? Sorry, I I lost the thread on that. What did he do on that? 
it's a metal bar. Yeah. About 30 centimeters. You might have seen pictures or something. I mean, in when he comes to to deliver his speech, he's holding that bar in, in his hand. <laughs> you mean to say in uh, in Chopati or everywhere? No, not in Chopati. No, no. In Punta de Vacas, only in Punta de Vacas. Punta de Vacas. Yeah. Punta de Vacas. Yeah. No, he never he never carry any any stick anywhere. <laughs> a lighter because he used to smoke, but not a stick. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. The, the, the pipe. <laughs> the pipe also, yeah, yes. yes. The pipe also. But uh, the, what was the stick for? Like, uh, are you are you suggesting something, or you're just making a comment? There, there are histories about the the the, the, the caduceus and what happened with it, and uh, yes, I mean, yeah, but it's it's not. Uh, I don't think that is one of the stories that we should uh, that we should <laughs> come at the moment. <laughs> yeah, because the discipline started to be prepared by him and those initial groups in the early days. So also 62, what, you said, no? The first group. What was uh, 62. And, and maybe Silo started to work even before. He was born on 38 to 48 to 58. He was at 62. He was already 24. Probably he had developed many other things before mm. that I don't know about. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he was also developing the base of what could be called the... the uh, alchemia, alchemic yeah. discipline. Yeah, this, material, this, material discipline. Material discipline. Al alchemy, yeah. Yeah, alchemy. So was, and, you mean to say lab? And, uh, and for example, he uh, one of the things that correspond to that, uh, to that uh, alchemist development was the uh, possibility of uh, changing the molecular memory of a yeah. substance and at least changing it to the effect of uh, changing the polarity of all the other molecules that we are getting in contact with, with those. And that is, is about the principle of a magic wand where you can touch something or someone and, and then you can produce a change, a transformation, a miracle, a cure. Right. And, uh, and uh, some of this, he invented a machine that was called at the time names that he put to the machines at the inventions. It was Calibastrador, Calibastrator. I don't know what it means. No? Hold on, hold on. Can, 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 you, can you go slowly on that? Calibastrator. Yes, Calibastrador in Spanish. Calibastrador. We will keep the Spanish name. Calibastrador, right? Yes. Okay, okay. And well, there he uh, uh, had magnets and lights and the extract of pineal gland the pineal gland has very particular functions of 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 a male lamb how do you call it? a ram in the a male, in, a male ram the animal you mean yes the animal okay. if you extract yeah. the pineal gland from the from under the brain is very rich in 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 some substances that are more uh, dopamine well, I mean, I don't know which other substance because I'm not in okay. the field of physiology. Okay. But, uh, but um, that they are very appropriate to record that sort of different memory and producing a retardatory, a slowing down its activity or accelerating uh, activity or a stabilizing activity. And then uh, by introducing an extract that normally he prepared about that in this machine that was rotating with magnets and light, he could go in printing, like you print a CD in, 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 in a previous technology at this time, et cetera, in printing a memory in those molecules of that substance, according to your own plan. For example, in a case of a cancer, you have the problem of some group of cells that they are multiplying, reproducing very quickly, developing a tumor, and eventually that tumor destroys the whole balance of that organ or, or the whole organism. If you introduce a retardatory factor, you reduce the activity of growth of that tumor, and therefore you can cure that disease. 
in certain conditions, in gender, etc. So experiments wow. of, of that type were uh, done. And, uh, and, and even when one of our friends got a particular disease that, uh, that uh, was advancing very quickly on his liver and all that, and he was already uh, uh, doing the, the material discipline, he gave him some formulas and Salvatore also, who was working with him. Salvatore Puleda. Yes. And, and he taught him how he could develop this uh, substance and use it to recover up to the point where a new drug was uh, launched into the market that they knew that would be produced. And then with that drug, really, he cured himself from a type of uh, hepatitis that was very, was a killer at the time, yeah. like 10 or 15 years back. So it really, he had a knowledge. And while, while he was doing all this uh, development of the origin of the disciplines, he was experimenting with different things or instruments, etc. Also, he developed a te telescope that was, was called Tescoano. I don't know why. Teliascoano. Te Teli Teliascoano, yes. Yeah. And they were all uh, polishing the, the, the crystal. The, the mirrors. The prism. Uh, yeah. At the prism, yeah. Yeah, because it's, so very, the, it's a long, intensive process. You can spend years and years and years doing it. So some of the people close to him, they were doing it for a long period of time. And apparently it was a very interesting telescope. Trying to polish the lens of a telescope, imagine, is a massive task. <laughs> Today you do those things, I mean, in special laboratories and by machines and robots and things like that, yeah. not by hand. Yeah. But the good thing so is I, that he was hands on. He was always experimenting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry to interrupt you, but did you get a chance to see through that telescope? No. Or is it is it there somewhere in Kundada Vakas? in the archives? Well, his wife uh, could uh, probably uh, keep the prototypes or, or, or maybe there are some explanations or somebody can tell you the stories. Tito could, could probably Tito. mention more about that. If well, was Tito one of the guys? One of the gentlemen to, who was... Yeah, because he, the... he was growing up with them at the time. And so he, he was sort of witness of some of the things. He didn't understand much what it was all about. But <laughs> at least he can <laughs> give some version of things. So you were saying you'll have to, yeah, when, to, in order to get this from Tito, you, you'll have to, you were no, saying. you will get more gossips. What we are doing here is that we are gossiping <laughs> about, about things that we don't know. We don't have complete evidence, but they are yeah. interesting. Yes. About, about the Delhi, we are masters. We can indulge in this type of interest. We, can indulge. Yeah. we are shall not we, going to we... get more confused than what we are already. Shall we, <laughs> shall we... Shall we come from the gossip to the deliberation? We can have a, such a meeting. Uh, and, and <laughs> <laughs> really, no, no. Actually, I... <laughs> it's like it's like having dance and drama once in a while. No? <laughs> <laughs> it, it gives, yeah, it gives some sort of inspiration because the mind, the imagination works. Like that. I'm telling you, no, actually, actually, the... actually, we want to know actual actual thing, not a gossip or anything. Actual thing. Which, which was not written in any way. Here is the actual thing I will show you. Yes. <laughs> no, no, that is okay. That is okay. Let us, <laughs> and let us, and, and I show you one more thing. Yeah, yeah, here also, it, here also the, I show. Here the also actual I show thing please. in Hindi. The actual thing is also available. Oh, really in the, the book is with me on no, Wilson. That, that is not actual thing. That Which is, is the one that he showed? Yeah. Wings of intent. Wings of intent. He's got no, wings no, of intent. Silo, silo that is validated, silo validated and no, no, acknowledged in a, this book. Yeah, that is, a, that is a story of one member. And it's, it's interesting, it's nice. Gives you a lot of perspectives. But my, my request is, we have spent nearly 50 minutes in gossip. And we have only we 10 minutes of the scheduled time start, left. Yeah, let's do something else, yes. And we, ha and we have two things, uh, uh, two things at hand. One is that how many people are we going to actually invite and make sure that they come next Sunday to the event? Uh, connected with that is that do we, how do we understand 
the perspective of this event into the future into the future yesterday in the rehearsal meeting fernando was there and at one point he mentioned that maybe we can produce one more document there is an event where we can which can be according to what is the future perspective of this message where where do we take it from ajit you want to say it in exact words that fernando said i don't think i can add anything <laughs> it was more or less the same thing yeah so the point is that this this <laughs> celebration of this event is not just a celebration like a birthday but is a a realization in my words is a realization that the message launched on 1st november 81 is very relevant for the current times and the future times and let us utilize that to launch ourselves into the future now so one step of that is let's get many people to this virtual event of next sunday and second is for us to understand that perspective of it that this message is useful for the future and if we connect it to our experiment that we are doing with the with the world humanist forum i think we can enter the stage of masses <clears throat> where in a years time from now each one of us could be working with at least 100000 people at least because the world today realizes that there is a crisis and they need a solution and only we have the solution so we have the moral responsibility also of providing that solution in a very organized way and silo has trained us for that and these gossips are sort of strengthening us for that i hope so instead of diverting into something else yeah yeah uh, so we we already uh, started the invitations and and uh, i think some of them were uh, registered i will tell you by tomorrow how many people from india have registered yes okay and Actually, people cannot so make it they will always have the 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 video the recording no? yes you know the purpose of registration we can give the link also the purpose of registration is that oh. let's say we have the zoom account for 300 people and we get 500 people to register then 200 people will not be able to join oh. or if we buy the account of 1000 people and we get only 300 people then we waste a lot of money yes 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 and we we we, we still we are still to have one billionaire among us no? who could who? spend all that money we are, we don't have a billionaire among us who could spend that kind oh, okay. of money okay yes yes we are yet to have that so i think Ch uh, chaitanya is the billionaire i think <laughs> <laughs> then we have to go and loot him because he is not opening his pockets <laughs> actually sudhir uh, sudhir actually after the after the uh, last meeting and madrid meeting after after that uh, actually if you are observing the things actually what we what we observed and what you said just now yesterday's meet, with the yesterday's meeting including fernando it is actually highly valid point now because if we we we, uh, we somehow we invite the invite to attend the party uh, celebration is uh, is nothing actually after the beyond that we look because what we yeah. will do with this event what we will move how we will move with this this image like so in that way in actually my uh, in our point of view in, actually in world without war i, I invited two, two three uh, times and personally i i give a personal call and in kerala 20 members are there in in world without war so 100% attendance will be there and plus more i i try to attend actually because this is a uh, actually this is a another another turning point in india i uh, I, i hope so we can utilize in such a way then uh, we can invite in further is november i i hope there is a, there will be a uh a uh, uh, international humanist meeting like i think a european meeting or i don't know one i i re read some 
uh, information from other groups so we will we will mobilize many people to attend that if we if we real if we really it, 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 this meeting we feel it will be it will be good for our our future in india in that way we organize it we can make it in a make it in a major event yes uh, the the whole point is that uh, let us try to understand the wide perspective of what we know what we have in our hand and its urgent need for the society even we have to we even we have to believe how urgent the crisis is and we have the we have the answer to that it's like having a patient on your on your surgery table and you are the doctor you can cure the patient but you are chit chatting with whatever on a telephone mm. with the with the surgeon dress we can't be like that that would be moral violence by us and we can't do that so we need to get that into our head into our heart and move with the action and it is for that that we need to master working with the force because only then we can energize all our centers and awaken the superior center become better people become examples and take it to people well in words it's as simple as that i'm sure in deeds also it is simple if we start doing it we have done lot of things till now we are not just uh, we are not just uh, good talkers all of us have been doing a lot of activities and uh, many of us have worked with thousands of people actually on the ground and it's a matter of uh, doing it again and the virtual world opens the possibilities that each one of us can be on a global mission building things anywhere that we want anywhere because even yeah, even people you invite they will come 100% sudhir 100% actually without the, uh, the we are we, whether we are not witness the pandemic uh, these two years actually in uh, regarding in the growth of kerala it will not uh, uh, not be, be possible if we physically we meet it will not be possible because we yeah. thanks to <laughs> great pandemic actually we yeah. the next sunday is the yeah, next sunday is a good opportunity if yeah, there is a good next... opportunity if a person yeah. if a if a member really feel if i can have a i can play the role in in the movement as well as in the world they can make wonders with the, the help of this virtual world 100% sure 100% sure imagine this event of madrid we couldn't have done if it was not virtual and the event we are having next sunday couldn't have happened if it was not virtual how many people could have traveled to to india to chopati and come for that not possible but today is virtual and everybody accepts it is virtual so if i call somebody i say let's talk on zoom they will talk or let's talk on whatsapp they say yes we will talk otherwise they say no no we'll meet next month and do that no yeah we can train lots of people in our own groups i mean doing that type of thing so we have to prepare our materials which can be suitable for this time which can be suitable for this time we are already getting in touch with a whole lot of india part to gandians and to farmers we have to is our part now to go forward in a very big way with translations video materials audio materials conducting let's say conducting relax somebody could conduct relaxation course on regular basis one person doing only that one in hindi one in malayalam one in english one in this only that every sunday there's a relaxation course going on somebody doing work with the force somebody doing a guided experience no let's create such specialists they will do only that only that every sunday or whatever week this can this can make us grow into millions very quickly this is a perspective we need to get in our head and in our heart so as to produce that action so here in this country they are um, they are saying the experts that are dealing with the covid-19 that uh, people should continue working from home because here there is another peak and they anticipate that during winter that means in the next few months they will have even more cases and the hospital saturated and all that so really uh, this working from home thing is going to stay culturally speaking the culture of work is changing everywhere yes and that is also an additional facility to what uh, to what sudhi is saying because we have to adopt that that will be the way to communicate to socialize to teach to do so many things in the future of course a percentage of the meetings will continue uh, will have to be physical 
but um, but also the virtual is going to be predominant. So if we prepare good materials, also we can use them in, in, in different universes, which is good. Ajit, yesterday you gave a beautiful description of 81. Would it be too much requesting you to repeat that today, reading? It's too long for this group. No, I mean, it'll be nice if you don't mind, if it is possible for you. But let's ask Antonio. I, I don't push it. Uh, so they let it be. It's too I'm pulling it. You're not pushing it. <laughs> no, depending on what Ajit thinks, but I think he's such a lovely, uh, uh, ref refreshing, and his perspective is so objective and so full of details that is a, a jewel, I mean, to, to, to listen to that. And since you are recording it now, you I'm don't actually, need... I'm actually being very greedy because when you were speaking yesterday, it, you transported me to Chopati and I was standing there next to the stage and listening to Silo. That was happening to me. And I was going through that experience. It was such a wonderful thought. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do it if people agree to it. Okay, friends, your vote quickly. How many agree to it? Please raise your hands. I agree. Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> we all agree, Ajit. I raise two hands. We all agree. Yes. I'll ask for four on you. It's quite long. It's at least 15 minutes long. 10, 10 11 minutes. It's okay. 10, 11 minutes. Yeah, we will, we will, we'll love it. We'll love it. What is 10 minutes? I, I thought you were going to say, we will bear it. <laughs> we will love it. I will love it for sure. <laughs> Tell us when you are starting so everybody goes on mute. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just have to start the computer. Just a minute. I, I'll sure. come back to you. Sure, sure, sure. Actually, uh, friends, yesterday we were having rehearsal of the 31st October event and uh, Ajit was requested to uh, give a description because in the last meeting before this, he gave a, gave a brief description, which was like two minutes. But this time he gave a beautiful detailed description of the whole thing. It was like, it was like living, reliving. For me, it was reliving the whole event. It was beautiful, beautiful. So let him speak and uh, later we will translate into Hindi also because it has to be done for the event. I will do that. Today we will translate. You will enjoy it, I think, very much. Ajit's words and Ajit's, Ajit's uh, uh, speaking is beautiful for us. Sudhiji, can you please mute all the mics uh, which are uh, open, uh, which are making a noise? Thank you so much, sir. So here we go. Description of November 1st, 1981, Public Act in Mumbai, India. Hello, everyone. I'm Ajit Mandan from Mumbai, India. Am I clear enough, please? Perfect. Perfect. Yes, clear, clear. Okay. Yes. Perfect. I would like to take you on a nostalgic path down memory lane when we, all fellow humanists in India, hosted a grand event in Mumbai, then known as Bombay, on the sands of a historic place, Chakwati Beach, famed for public political meetings, especially during India's nonviolent freedom or quit India movement call to the British for independence. Now the year is 1981. There was a message from the humanist friends from abroad that Silo, the founder of the humanist movement, wished to come to India to deliver a public talk after observing 12 years of silence from speaking 
speaking in public. There was just one caveat. If accepted, as CELO was going to be accompanied by an international team of speakers, the local organizers should give a strong push to inviting at least 3,000 people indoors or 5,000 people outdoors. Wow. Of course, we said yes. It was a daunting task. But we are all so enthused with the prospect of hosting CELO that we felt equal to the challenge. Work for the project started right away. Various teams were formed and functions delegated. I was in the media team and was appointed as a spokesperson of the movement with a brief to contact as many newspapers agencies as, as possible. I found the task joyful and the media receptive. They understood our sentiments and the message in general with strong confirmations of covering the event, which was a few months away. The largest indoor auditorium, which could hold 3,000 people, was already booked. This meant we were left with no other alternatives. It had to be an outdoor meeting. The search for outdoor spaces was unleashed as we were running short on time. Without a venue, it was going to be difficult to do the diffusion. Anyways, all preparatory steps were being covered. What would be our message in diffusion materials? What banners and decoration? Shall we have music? How shall we convene people? In the meanwhile, the search for places were coming up short. Shivaji Park? No. Denied. Azad Maidan? No. Public largely returned homeward, homeward bound. Chaupati could be explored, get permission from the government and police. Getting permission seemed a tall task, but we were hell-bent on getting now Chaupati now. She resonated with our imagery, a beachfront marina bay with beautiful silvery sands masked by a gentle November sunset. Chaupati was our destination. No news of permissions for Chaupati. We were now well into the year. Meanwhile, what, was, what will our message focus on? We are now having almost daily regular meetings about the different aspects of preparation. Finally, the news came ringing through. Chao Pati is ours. <coughs> Sorry. It was almost mid-year. With the venue clearly fixed, we swung into action. In a brainstorming session, we concluded with a famous tagline, which will now be the focus of all our activities. What will CELO do? CELO will speak for the second time. The first time he spoke, he launched a message, he launched a movement that spanned 50 countries over five continents. What will CELO speak about? About a news message directed towards the humanization of the earth. Where will he speak? Chaupati Beach. I'd like to tell you that this is prepared for the archives, so it's better read, written. Ciro speaks to humanize the earth, Chapati Beach, Sunday, November 1st, 1981, Mumbai, India. All posters, pamphlets, diffusion materials, invitations focus around, above, around the above. The march is on. Starting October, release weekly a quarter page advertisement bearing the above taglines with short descriptions, with a prominently displayed visage face of Ciro. The advertisement, advertisement is an instant hit, and its repeat insertions draw instant recall. Mid-October, a giant yellow balloon invades the Mumbai skies near Chapari, proudly proclaiming Ciro speaks. Time peeping inexorably towards the appointed day, Journalists ask for interviews with Silo. Meanwhile, three feet into two feet posters are plastered all over the city, which grab the eyeballs of passing commuters. Invitations are handed out to friends, neighbors, at bus stands, railway stations, and even passers-by by so enthusiastic were our members. Remember, in those days, there were no cell phones and even landlines were a privilege. There were no social media and messenger services by which we could send an SMS or a similar invite. Career services also did not exist. 
one had to personally hand over an invitation, exchange a few pleasantries and information, and receive a firm handshake in acknowledgement. Our humanist members and newfound friends worked tirelessly late into the evening after work to joyfully accomplish their tasks which they self-postulated to fulfill. Silo arrives in the city with his team to a tumultuous reception at the airport. Meanwhile, other delegates to the conventions arrive from different countries like Japan, Malaysia, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, and many more. But the weather is playing spoil sport to Mumbai's plans. A cyclonic storm developing in the south is menacingly approaching Mumbai with anticipated landfall in and around the days of the event. Unseasonal rains and gusty winds threaten to upset our efforts of erecting a stage and putting up decorations. We bide our time with patience, fortitude, and faith. A chance meeting with an official of the National News uh, Service, Dudarshan, yields a short interview with Ciro. In a remarkable announcement in the 9 p.m. National News, the announcer says that Bombay is rocking this weekend, referring to the three events in the city, a famous international band playing on Saturday night, the founder of erstwhile EST program speaking at an auditorium Sunday morning, and an Argentina thinker, Silo, who will launch a message in Chao Party on Sunday evening. Silo's image, speaking in his animated declarative style, flashes across the screen. Silo is witness to, to that in a crowded room with friends gathered around the black and white TV. Whoops of joy, clapping and laughter rent the air. Our own Silo is on national TV. <laughs> Sunday morning opens to a somber note. The stage is painstakingly resurrected. The decorations are being put up. By afternoon, the cyclone surprisingly tempers down to a mildly strong, windy affair with no rain. Our spirits are uplifted. Chairs are arranged. The program is to start at 5.30 without undue delay. What plays heavily on our minds is that apart from the storm, we also have to contend with the Sunday evening movie which aired regularly on national TV. This was the one and only channel India had at that time. And was a family affair, kind of a homely sit around fireside kind of affair. We wondered whether anyone would stir out under the circumstances. Our setting was festive. All around the bamboo barricades that surrounded our enclosure were orange banners and orange triangles that fluttered in the wind. Soothing classical music, Indian music, wafted across. Passers-by were curiously looking into the arena. The sky had turned a mellow orange with the sunset dew within the hour, and we were waiting. 5.10, 5.15. Were our efforts in vain? Early birds had occupied a few seats, but they were, they were a sprinkling amongst the vast backdrop of 5,000 chairs laid out for the event. Were our efforts in vain? Were we amiss in our preparations, our calculations? Suddenly, we spied on the footbridge that led to the beach and near the entrance of our enclosure, a stream of people purposefully marching down. Our hearts raced a bit. Were they just visiting the beach or going to attend our function? We shouldn't have bothered and second-guessed ourselves. Like an act of reposing faith in us and in what we had done, they marched in, they marched in endlessly, choosing their seating with the air of expectancy around them. They were not let down. Silo and his team arrived to a warm welcome with such applause, with much applause. Once settled, the program began. Nine sets of speakers each with their Hindi translators including the six who made up the international team, built up, to, built up the pitch, keying every note with a different perspective. Each talk focused on a single aspect about the crisis or about suffering or about life in general. Speaker 10, there is a silence. 
the masterly oration begins. Twelve years ago, each sentence enunciated in crisp Spanish and translated into its English and Hindi equivalent. Each line descending down like a wolf waterfall from beyond high, nourishing a parched earth down below. Good is what unites people. Bad is what divides them. Like a drum roll that thunders, treat others as you would have them treat you. Till the finest moment when 10,000 to a man stand up to accompany the master in a spirit of reconciliation. Go to your parents, your loved ones, those close to you, go to your friends and your enemies alike and tell them with an open heart, something great and new has happened in me today and explain to them this message of reconciliation. To all of you, peace, force, and joy. The crowd erupts in joy. There's a loud applause. People greet one another with handshakes and hugs. Tears stream down faces. Strangers jump up on the stage to hug Silo. Silo approaches the edge of the stage to greet people below. People throng to shake hands with him. Babies are thrust up for blessings. Silo addresses the press on the beach itself. More than 20 plus articles were published in various newspapers. By the end of the following year, the number of humans in India grew to 10,000. Peace, force, and joy to you. That concludes. Peace, force, and joy to you also. Thank you, Ajit. Yes, Sudhir. Thank you very much. Well, it was wrong. Now you yes. can wake up on the slumber. But it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Our friends can wake up from their slumber. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is something to be read, not to be heard. <laughs> yeah. So when they publish the archives, <laughs> we'll have that. It'll be on the website. Any changes required, Antonio, in this? No, it's okay. No, it is okay. They're fantastic. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's fantastic, no? Yeah. You will have new fans, Ajit. A million fans. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so they sending, you, sending, you, sending, you, sending you Twitter and mail every day. Fan mail. Oh. Your phone will blast with all that. Okay. Okay. So there is one thing is for sure that that uh, 1981 uh, event it brought about a lot of force the whole year through because there's a common project and we were we all working towards it. One interesting thing that I want you all to note from what I read is that he says something new and tell them something new and great has happened in me today. He doesn't say to me, in me, he says. So he's talking about a conversion that takes place when a realization happens. And that's very, very important, I think. I don't know, my video can be seen. Maybe because I, yeah, okay. I mean, I know for a fact that Silo chooses his words very well. And not a word is out of place, especially when something is for public. When it's yeah. a written thing, and he chooses his words very well. So when he says that something great, something new and great has happened in me, he's talking about something, a realization taking place and a conversion taking place within oneself and a new beginning happening. You know? It's like a change in direction, actually. But that changes your life. That is a text written by him that oh. he, he left in his room. 
Oh. And uh, and um, um, it was taken by one of, uh, of our friends, Nicole, took it. And, uh, and then I asked for a photocopy because it's wonderful. Because I remember his, his characters, his manner of writing. And it says here, yes, something great and new has happened to me today on me. Yes. So that's that's distinction that uh, that Ajit is making is very good. Whoa. Wow! Absolutely amazing. And and here there are little things that he has corrected and then immediately cross. I don't know what was written before. We cannot tell people because then they will go, go to the original text and they will start this distorting things. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the word that he crossed here and why? Blah blah blah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, why? The, why he chose this word? Yes, yeah, this word or the other word. And so the other some cross. I can uh, I can later on uh, pass to Sudhir yeah. and Sudhir can share it with you because it's yeah. a document of great value for uh, Indian. I think. Yeah. Super. So I invite you for an asking, brief asking, if you like. Yeah, this is that. This is that. Sudhir. Yeah. Do Do you have a plan? Any plan to give any appeal to the participants of that event? We have any plan? In what sense? Uh, in what sense? Uh, in the sense, uh, uh, we are connecting with the society, and uh, we we like to transform the society into a humanistic one, humanist one. Yeah, that's the question we need. So we we organized different different uh, tools like uh, organism to connecting with the people. So uh, all our participants come through that meeting through this organism. Yeah. So if we, we can make an, any appeal, are uh, you in an invitation for this uh, next Sunday? No, 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 no. He's saying I'm, what lesson people can take home and start to yeah, apply it is, immediately yeah, yeah, with the right. grassroots. Exactly, Pradeep, and I yeah, like yeah, that. I like that. Correct. So, uh, 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 Ajit and Antonio are the right people to word it properly, and then I can type it and send it. Well, word it. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, each one can can word it how they want. But yeah, we could have a model, no? Yeah. If you are going to recommend, I mean, to take advantage of that experience of watching all this recreation, lots of people probably, they, they didn't know or they were not there. So what they could start doing with the friends, with their, with their, with their uh, relatives, with their father and mother, and, uh, with the neighbors. And uh, so that would create a wave of probably well-being and new contacts and uh, goodwill with everyone and it's very good yeah that's what it's all about no? oh, this, uh, it will be good if we can make any note or any something to mm. give because that is a that will be the very appropriate uh, event and moment for us so take uh, uh, because after the meeting they everybody has a full of i, I hope full of uh, enthusiasm and energy because last time i felt uh, after the last meeting we have a it's a, it's a nice, uh, nice and pleasant atmosphere. We we sharing each other uh, in that uh, the participants. So in that way, we will uh, we will re re mold uh, our event in such a way. Hundred percent of the people uh, uh, feel uh, they are they are uh, they are experiencing unknowingly uh, unknowingly some some un, uh, some some human experience. They feel uh, at the uh, at the at that the meeting at uh, the part at the that meeting. So, if we can give some appeal to them to carry out this to their neighborhood or their their family, like it will be, it will be good hundred percent. If we if we organize in such a way. Especially we can say it with our own words. So because it then it will come from our heart, no and uh, and. Uh will not be formal, will not be a code, but... Uh, like a testimonial. A testimonial, yeah. A testimonial. So I made a point also in, in us, uh, summarizing the experience of, of uh, silo speeches in Sri Lanka that were quite similar, to really looking into the future because the past is dealt with. 
it's, it's, it's sure. memory lane, as Ajit was saying. But I mean, the future is our concern. I made again that commitment of, of, of communicating this experience and this feeling to as many people as possible while there is some life in my body for the years to come, because it's so important to do this, that in itself gives, gives a goal, gives an objective. And uh, if we can all do it, will be a powerful force again to, to start moving things. Taking, uh, taking that point further, what Pradeepan is suggesting and what you are suggesting, maybe there is a possibility to expose the organisms, the various organisms, <laughs> organizations of the humanist movement, give them five minutes or breakout rooms for people who are interested to work with them. Uh, if new people have come, some opportunity for them to take part, take it to their friends, family, through uh, the silos message, organism, something that concretizes into increasing the base of the people. That's a possibility. Mm. Actually, there's one, one limitation here, and that is... There's one limitation here, and that is That's that... Actually, you, you can't hear you, sorry. So, Didi, can you please uh, mute the other mics? Yeah. No, no, uh, Galaxy C7, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Ajit, please go ahead. I think Ajit's frozen now. Or am I frozen? I'm not sure. Ajit's frozen. Ajit's Ajit frozen. is frozen. Ajit, Ajit, Ajit is frozen. frozen. Yeah. Uh, can I, can I Ajit, make a... Ajit, unfree make... yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Ajitorji, what did you say? Sorry, sir, I didn't hear Ajit, jam gaya. Ajit, unfreeze yourself. Chaitanya? Yeah, Pradeep. Can I make a comment on your uh, your uh, sayings? Please, please. It's open, open, open ground. Please go ahead. No, actually, and, uh, um, uh, my, my proposal is that uh, it is not uh, breaking anything uh, in the room like a discussion like that, organization like, because this is a this is a this is a serene moment we have we we have we have uh, uh, till that and we move into another room in a breaking such a such a serenity in our mind so better uh, we give a simple appeal which which work there which work after the uh, meeting which their their own mind inside unknowingly that is my uh, proposal because this Super. is a <laughs> No, no. This is because we, 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 because we are, we are, we are singing a beautiful lyrics or something in that event. So in, in after that is a, it's a political talk like that after at immediately. So it is breaking everything. Better uh, leave leave them with the this appeal. That is my proposal. Super, super. Another consequence uh, learning of that event is that this. Uh, this was the largest event we had in the world till that time at least. And we had only 27 members doing this and 27 members included around 11 adherents who were new people, fresh, who were not really doing much. They were just coming to a weekly meeting. Our number was 27 when we started this. So very few people, if they are determined, if they are focused, and they take a team decision, anything can be done. We didn't have money. We printed only about 12,000 posters, only 12,000 posters. But the media said the community has painted Bombay green, orange because we use them in such a way. So it is how you take the decision and you work for the decision. Yes, Ajit, you got interrupted. Please go on. No, I'm saying that we have to bear in mind that the meeting that we are going to have on Saturday, it actually is from a team. It's done by a team. And it is on somebody else's uh, web uh, Zoom, Zoom account and things like that. So if we want to do something on our own, 
we would have to move to another room. Yes. And, and so there we can do whatever we want. Yes. And that is from here can be told like you can move to this room, maybe through the chat, chat or something like that. And we can, this part, we can tell the team that, you know, after the event, we would like to just make an announcement for people to be invited uh, to another room. And anybody and everybody can come. That, yes. that would be the courteous, courteous way to do it. Because this whole session is going to be recorded by them. So they have to end at one point. Super idea, excellent. Uh, always, always remember that we, we bear in mind as the second generation of the amazing event that you guys did. In all the review meetings that we had, one learning was there that even though there were 10,000 people in the community meeting on that day, it did not translate into 5,000 uh, structural members. One of the main reason was in our review meetings was that uh, we, we did not harness the energy that we generated at, the, at that event. So harnessing the energy is very much like, uh, you know, like we have these meetings of other subjects with other people and we have people who are very committed to the cause and there are few visitors. Let's say there are 30 people committed to a cause and five, five people come as visitors to see what is this hero's message all about, for example. And then they see it and then we have a small session for them, which is in a breakout room at the end of the meeting. So everybody else goes away and then there's a small breakout room in which out of these five, maybe three stay back, two go away, so three stay back. So with these three, the idea is to harness. The idea is to see, would you like to take part in the message? If you are interested, we can tell you more about Silo's message or stuff like that, or, or the community or Humanist Party, whatever is the, uh, whatever is the info session that we give. The, the main idea of any event like we are discussing about the future is to expand the base of Siloism in whatever form whether in the school or in message or in party or community, whatever, whatever, however. But the base of the siloism must spread as a result of our efforts where we are reaching out to society and inviting them to come to this beautiful uh, re-enactment uh, re, re, re of uh, 81. And then, and then what? And then we want you to come and take this forward because the first generation did what they did and now we want you to take this forward. So how do you take this forward? How do I do it? Let's, let's say I'm a new person, I've entered your meeting. I love what you did. I like Pradeepan said, I have a high energy now. I'm totally motivated. Now what? Now I have got 30 minutes to harness this and guide the person into one of the organs. That's one of the possibilities. I'm not saying we should do this, but that's one of the possibilities in the way Ajit said that in another breakout room, in another Zoom link, where an info session is held for everything, for the newcomers. Think about it. I'm not saying we should do it. It's just a suggestion in the air. We can just drop it. I, I think we should plan it. for it. I think we should plan for it. And uh, if possible, we should do it. First, we, I mean, we go all out inviting people because Great. the breakout will be for the people invited. If nobody turns up, it'll be us discussing against... <laughs> Probably we'll, give it, we'll give an info session to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing once again. But I think what, what is going to happen, Ajit, is that maybe new people are not, not as many new people as the people we lost along the way. You know, in the transitions we made when we shifted from community to a party and from party to the Greens and then from Greens back to the humanist centers and then newsletters. And then, you know, we made so many transitions. And in those transitions, we lost quite a, quite a lot of our friends who might come back or send their friends or, you know, the, the, we might have these people reconnecting along with the new people as well. So there is this amazing uh, energy that might get re-harnessed. And even if it's just one person getting added, I don't think it's a loss. It's a gain in any case. You know, over the years, I've met some people who have who had left the movement wherever, you know. And there are two types of people. One who asks, so how is your movement going? Then you know how is your movement? At a distance. <laughs> yeah. They, they, how is your they, movement? They're at a distance from us. And the other says, how's the movement doing? How's the movement doing? There's yeah. an opening. 
And they actually, they said it was very nice, very good. But there were two <laughs> complaints, two complaints. One is that, you know, the things shifted very fast. We couldn't catch on. You know, yeah. we were this and then suddenly we became this. Yeah. This is one thing. And the other thing was a rush for numbers. You know, like they felt yeah. pressured numbers, numbers, numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. not everybody, were not everybody's cup of tea. Especially True. professionals and things like that. Not everybody's uh, cup of tea. But then now we don't have those complaints, so we can do a lot more. And I mean, some doors may reopen for them. Like they, they could join the community with Virain in India, or they could join somebody with Pradeepan somewhere. They could join with Sudhir's meeting of the Silo's message. They could join Ashutosh for the party meeting of uh, in the, Silo's, the in Silo's message. We have nothing to do with numbers because we, yeah. when we talk, we talk only of one million people straight. So, so, so having said that, Ajit, uh, it's it's a great opportunity. You, you guys. Baiju and Babu. Baiju and Babu. Baiju, Babu. Baiju, Babu, Leva. Yes, yes, sir. I am here. 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 I am friends <laughs> In our uh, invite is our uh, clear cut uh, uh, identity. They are with uh, they are coming with a clear cut identity. In the sense, we invite the world without our people and collaborators. They know something about the uh, organism and like community and like con convergence of culture from Kerala. For us, is we mobilize our uh, our members and collaborators. Uh, in that, that is a one thing. So. Uh, I think it is after breaking the event and uh, moving another room is, uh, I think it uh, for them, it will not be a, uh, an uh, inspirational one. I think, I think so because, and uh, that is a one thing. And second thing, uh, we are, uh, we are, uh, we are playing a, uh, uh, one is a, is a, is a, is a one particular way of uh, music. We recorded one hour, one, one and a half or two hours. Then uh, we cut short and uh, we, we diverted it to another uh, another music like uh, Western music like. So it is it is uh, it is uh, adopting this kind of a thing is uh, together at a particular moment. I think it break everything. The serenity, uh, the humanness, or or uh, or uh, whatever we 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 felt we had we we inject, we we filled our mind. It is some, I think it is, uh, it will not be good, I think. Because I am I am yeah. very, very vocabulary in English, very poor. So, oh, very very we have to tell ourselves and our people that to raise the level of consciousness, we need flexibility. And moving from one meeting to another is not even a flexibility. We cannot do anything in that meeting. Let us understand that meeting will start and will end and that's all. Nothing can be done about it. The only thing you can do is that towards the end, when you have invited them earlier, towards the end, you put the link of the next meeting. So they click there in the chat and they go to the next Zoom straight away. That's the only thing you can do. And it's it's not compulsory. Like, you know, it's for people who want to know more. Like, like we meet a lot. While inviting, yeah. while, while inviting uh, uh, to the second meeting, uh, those who are uh, already in the organism, uh, we can give them, a, 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 it is an optional one for newcomers or uh, the, the, those who are interested uh, in an, a, for an informative talk, uh, we can invite them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's optional we for everyone. Tell, it's we have to tell separately. We have to tell them to uh, and, uh, that after this meeting, we will have an India meeting. And if you want, you are welcome there. This is a link. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. a possession. Okay. What is a human okay. movement? What is organism? You know, some guys may have lost it. I'm telling you, so many people don't know how many organisms we have. So many people okay. don't know what are the opportunities. 
for participation. So uh, and and it's just it's just a try. Like if we harness, let's say we've got 20 new people and we can harness one or two people from this and they join an organism. Well, it's more strength to the cause. We we well, spread the we base that. If we want to do that, let's organize it quickly now because we don't have much time and we have already spent one hour, 40 minutes. Some of us may have to leave. So if you want to do it, let's do it quickly. Yeah, whatever you people are uh, saying, we, we agreed. No problem. We want you to organize it and we will agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have more people, so you know more conveniences. Huh? No, no, we, no. Well, well, Pradeepan is, is mentioning something that is quite uh, true, that uh, what leaves this act leaves a feeling that, uh, that has no boundaries, that is essentially human, that is a message of reconciliation and, and makes you feel inspired, profoundly inspired. And then... Uh, if you bring them to the to the language of an organism or, or an organization or sign here or that type of thing yeah it will somehow or even if it's a, purely the music it will bring down that uh, that feeling the only thing that could enhance those feelings are the ceremonies it's uh, you don't need that you are part of the message or not the message but those are definitions but invite them to do a practice a practice that yeah. will strengthen the connection that they have established with themselves Super. And, and tell them that every day they can join this because you do it it's like having a tonic in the morning and then <laughs> later on you you talk about organisms and actions in the world and blah 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 the type of things but the, the point of support should be in that experience actual practice practice i think that is a very nice idea we invite people Amazing. to the ceremony to a ceremony, super. And we do the ceremony of office, which is work with the force. And asking for other people too, because it's asking so important. So we can do both the ceremonies yeah, at the same time. It takes, after all, it takes only 20, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes both, yeah. 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 We invite them super. to the ceremony. Anyway, we'll be in touch there over the weekend uh, the, the, for this event. It was wonderful. So, this so next chat Sunday, we will, being, yeah. <laughs> Next Sunday, we will not have the weekly meeting because we'll be concentrating on that, on that event. Event. Hmm? This okay. is 6.30 is your event, Sudhir? So event is 6.30, yes. 6.30, okay. Yeah. But uh, some of us will have to be there at 6. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yes. So, uh, uh, those who want to do this ceremony thing afterwards, uh, uh, let's... Uh, either decide now or maybe tomorrow, then we can, uh, it will have repercussion on our invitations and all. Let's not hold Antonio for too long. No, no, I will, I will say my goodbyes. You don't need me for yeah. anything. And, and wonderful to meet everyone and we'll see you over the weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Cheers. See you. Okay. Bye. Okay, Bye. 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 Uh, Bye. We can continue for a while. And we can decide this. By the way, uh, 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 there is a group uh, that meets internationally every day at 11.30 just to do the ceremonies. Uh, Antonio told me about it and I go there maybe five times a week. It's very nice. It actually works like a tonic. In the night or in the morning Indian time? In the night. Sometimes it is in French, German, Spanish, Italian, English. Once it was in Hindi also they wanted to hear. So I did it. Different languages. They just come, do it, half an hour, gone. It's very nice. We should have such things. We'll organize such things from here also. So, so okay, we come back to our idea. Uh, what, should, should we then do call them for a ceremony? That would be lovely. Ceremony is okay. great. Okay. Something in practice right away. They, they'll tell them what the humanist woman is doing right now. If they want to join, they can join on this date, ceremony happening every week on Zoom or whatever is the schedule. Lovely. And uh, and uh, my, my doubt is not clear. Uh, this is a ceremony is okay, but uh, what about the appeal? Appeal for what? activities. No, no. Appeal in the sense, uh, 
uh, indirectly or silently or uh, we convey something to the participants that is clear because we are the part of the part of the society and we somehow somehow we uh, we are uh, we, we have to do something for the society like whatever they perceive they uh, they they keep but my uh, opinion is so because we are the we are the uh, uh, international uh, international organization so we have uh, some object objective objective is that to humanize the earth so for this we are uh, all the events or the moments all the uh, campaign all are doing for this focusing this on so uh, uh, we make this is a clear as as an appeal as a form of appeal to the participants if we will do it will to be those, good for no to to those who come to that uh, sunday meeting the first event or to those whom we invite pardon to whom do you want to give this appeal to people no, who no, come to the event no i am saying 31st meeting 31st 31st celebration no 31st celebration we cannot do anything we cannot add even a full stop there forget it there is a team doing it and they are deciding everything okay In that we okay. cannot do anything even the okay. best way is like like we were just discussing earlier the 31st ends in like sudhiji 2 hours 6 to 8 one and a half hour 6:30 to 9 okay 9:00 it ends at 9 so we we whoever wants to come for this link we at the end of that we can uh, send a whatsapp to all the people who are there we'll have very few visitors it, it's not going to be thousands of people it'll be in a few few hundreds at best there's a 300 people room so highest is 300 anyway indian participation will be a part of that so we we can send a whatsapp message if we can if we if we are allowed to paste it in the chat bar at the end of the meeting we'll paste it in the chat bar there's a small meeting for india and then they it'll come to sudhir ji's room for uh uh this a ceremony and he'll conduct a ceremony for all of us we'll all take part in the ceremony at the end of this beautiful e- evening and we'll end the day even if there are no visitors i'm saying is let's assume is just us there's nothing wrong in doing a ceremony with him at the end of that event amazing so let us Whoever let us start comes. let us start assuming that there'll be 100 people with us Super. because we don't lose anything in assuming things and sure, let us 100. assume that there'll be 1000 people in the event and 300 from india why not super so so 100 people 100 people at the end of the session coming to the 930 uh, let's say 915 yeah uh, 915 915 room and then we do a ceremony together and then sudhir ji sends out the message that you know this is held at this time at this link every week anybody wants to come welcome and then that's it we are not trying to texture color diya na when the when the texture color diya event ends we can put the invitation in the chat and i can yeah. also speak there at the end when people are saying bye 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 and all that we can say there is a ceremony the link is given in the chat that's all who so wants to come most welcome most welcome and we'll put it up in the humanist movement uh, whatsapp group we'll put it up in the school whatsapp group yeah, we yeah. put it up in Everywhere. from the indian city whatever access we have to the whatsapp Everywhere. group we put it there so who wants to come can come i mean there's no there's no kind of like you very rightly put uh, there's no change of resonance i think you were referring to resonance that there is a high we energy the we do the two ceremonies they are they go very well they go very well what do you say ajit i'm open to it but Great. this we planned is it yeah. needs to be planned because yeah. there is no chance for us to do anything whatever is going to take place when we when we get into that room that after that there should be other people taking over and organizing whatever is there means i mean who's going to do it is there 100 people now somebody okay. is to say okay the, the service office whatever we going to do okay so, i can do that both of them yeah okay fine another thing we can do is we can have uh, we can have three breakout rooms one for english one for hindi and one for malayalam if oh, we okay. acha bye we let us decide now 
or we do malayalam one malayalam i think it is not necessary malayalam english and uh, hindi will do okay so then somebody Hello? else can do english and i can do hindi baiju ke baiju can you do english purna ne krishna pad pad Why don't you do Chaitanya? Babu, 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 Malayalam or not, Babu? Why, why do? Different language, isn't it? Not Babu. But Malayalam, but not non-native Malayalam. Okay. We can manage. Babu, why do? Why do? Why do Malayalam or not, why do? Malayalam, what did you say? Okay. Malayalam, 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 Chaitanya can do. Uh, I would uh, vote for Ashutosh. If not Ajit, then uh, first choice Ajit, second choice Ashutosh, and third choice. Third choice. Third, third, <laughs> third choice. Third choice. Third choice. Chaitanya. Third choice. 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 Okay, Ashutosh uh, can do if if possible. Ashutosh, Ashutosh can do. Ashutosh is got amazing. He's got amazing command on this. I mean, really yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Ashutosh, ji, Ashutosh, ji. Ashutosh ji can yes, do the. I can do it, but my suggestion is that we should take somebody from second generation to do all the ceremonies. You come with the hair dyed. <laughs> yeah, jokes apart, I'm not joking. I am serious. Yes, yeah, second generation comes. Ceremonies are serious things done by elder people. <laughs> we don't have second generation people actually only yeah. second generation people is representing chaitanya only <laughs> all the that's people right. who are not there in chopati right. is second generation so yeah. all the people who are not there in chopati is the second no, no, generation no 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 he means the <laughs> age <laughs> correct well, manju, correct manju manju can do in hindi the problem is the internet signal uh, okay uh. ajay ashutosh, ashutosh ji That is why I was not proposing her name. Otherwise, she can do it very well. आपका इंटरनेट अगर आप एक ही जगह पे रहेंगी तो तो स्टेबल रहेगा ना? नहीं नहीं कोई भरोसा नहीं है. तो भी भरोसा. Actually नहीं। actually मैं चाहता था कि संडे की जो हिंदी पढ़नी है वो मंजू बहन पढ़े. लेकिन वहाँ कनेक्शन स्टेबल नहीं है. आप म्यूट पे हैं मंजू. रविवार की खातिर आप पटना आ सकती है क्या? � <laughs> अगर जरूरत हुई तो उनको अगर आप पटना जाती है तो आपका इंटरनेट बढ़िया चलेगा तो आप आप कर सकते हैं मैंने हिंदी का थिंक अबाउट इट आप म्यूट पे हैं अगर कुछ बोलना चाह रहे हैं तो अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा तो इज गोइंग टू टेक इंग्लिश आशुतोष इंग्लिश आई वुड वोट फॉर आशुतोष माय वोट इज फॉर आशुतोष मी टू मी टू यस I will do it. Yes. Yes. But once again, okay. my, once again, my suggestion is to get somebody from second generation. Like second generation. Jai, 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 No, 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 Yeah, <laughs> and that will be the rise of humanism in Kerala. <laughs> right. So, uh, do we need to share the text? It would be lovely if we can just share the text of the two ceremonies. Sudhir ji, if you can send. So, okay. Manju ji, what is your vote? 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 Manju ji, ठीक है तो फिर सुधीर जी है हिंदी के लिए सुधीर जी करेंगे
So do we uh, do we add this in the invitation that after the event we will have a separate ceremony, or let's not complicate. It will because complicate. If we give two links, people yeah. will go to yeah. this link, that link. No, 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 not not no, 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 not necessary. This. So we tell them this, in the this, event itself. In the event, event we yes. tell them. And this yes, pasting yes, yes. of the link uh, should be done at 9 p.m. on the WhatsApp groups, humanist movement okay. school groups. 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. so that there is no confusion. Otherwise, okay. our people yeah. will be in separate rooms, in separate meetings. Perfect. Perfect. No, perfect. Yeah, yeah. It is not. It is not mentioned in our invitation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not so to personally, personally, when we will inform them. Personally, I, we will inform them. I personally, yes. I personally think it will be a landmark if we get 150 people from India to the event. Oh. Just 150. Yes. I will Kerala, do the one. You can, uh, you can, uh, I will Kerala. do the one. Somebody oh, has yes. to do five and somebody has to do zero. <laughs> now from Kerala, 50 <laughs> people, uh, minimum 50 people will attend. Under Very good. Yes. Clap, clap, clap to you. Kerala, you Chetan, Chetan if you take a little bit effort for Latur, you can get 20, 30 people from there easily. We'll try. We'll try from Latur. No, don't try. You issue the order. <laughs> so <issue> the <laughs> a government notification. <laughs> try, yeah. try, in the, try in the negative sentence. No, try means nothing. Uh, <laughs> no. I, was just getting trained, I was just getting trained on a GR uh, by Ashutosh ji a couple of hours ago. So I'll issue a GR with consultation with Ashutosh ji. I'll go write a GR. Yes. And a GR will be issued, sir. <laughs> yes. With the punishment clause at the bottom. If you don't come, then next week you have to bring 100 people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Every time we add uh, 50 more. Yes. 50. Yes. Chandra yes. Babu, yes. Babu, Babu, what do we need to do to get uh, to get uh, Dr. Mathai and? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, today night, I will. I will call them and inform them that yeah. our. Uh, I will give the uh, invitation. Yeah. And including our Sutha also. Yes. I oh. have sent uh, both the books to Sudha and uh, to yes, Dr. That, Mathai. Yeah, that I know. That I know. Dr. Mathai has acknowledged it, but ah, I don't ah. have address of uh, our other friend. Sudha. No, Sudha, Sudha. I have sent. Dr. Mathai, I ah. have sent. Uh, ah. Raju Gopal. Raju Gopal. I don't have his address to send. So if you send me uh, his okay. address, I will, I will, uh, I, uh, I will collect his uh, uh, email ID and I will, uh, sorry, yes. postal address and I will send. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Soon we will publish okay. uh, silo message in English and we are, uh, we have to do in Hindi also. Uh -huh. And we will do it. Okay. Okay. Another, another, another important uh, 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 information for you. Here in Kerala, we, we declared our... Uh, Kerala March on coming uh, 22. 22. 22. We are uh, October. October. Next year. Yeah, from Kasrako to Trivandrum. I will okay. take your leave and I'll be in touch with you, Sudhir Bhai, about the ceremony. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And peace, right. force yes, and love. Yeah. Peace, force, and joy. Peace, force, and joy to you also. Okay, friends. I Please think there's nothing else we can close here. Yeah. Bye. Yes. Namaste, Manjuji. Namaste. Bye, Namaste.